Today, I'm going to show you how to add a reflection to sunglasses in Photoshop. Hey guys and welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace and you can find me on flurn.com where we make learning Photoshop and photography fun. Today's episode is all about adding or reflection to sunglasses. And this is gonna be perfect if you're taking a picture of your subject in the studio and they don't have an actual reflection in their sunglasses and maybe you wanna make it look like they're outside. So today we're gonna to take an image that's actually of Paris and we're gonna super it impose over, <laughs> super it impose, we're gonna superimpose the image over top of the sunglasses and make it look like they're really in place. We're gonna show you how to color the image of Paris as well as how to adjust the levels on the image to make it really look like it's a reflection and not just an image. And then we're gonna go into some advanced layer masking where I'm gonna show you guys how to add a gradient to the layer mask of the image of Paris and that's gonna really make it look like it's a reflection. It's gonna be a super cool episode, you don't wanna miss it. So here are our images for today. We've got an image of Paris. This is gorgeous, makes me wanna go back to Paris. And uh, we've got a great photograph here. Uh, our subject's probably in the studio and we don't have any reflection in the sunglasses. So the first thing we wanna do is we wanna bring our move tool. We wanna hit shift and click and drag from one image to another. There we go. So now we have our image of Paris inside of our sunglasses image. So we can go ahead and close this down. Let's hit F to full screen and zoom this right in. Okay, now I wanna go ahead and lower my opacity here because I don't need this entire image to be visible. Really, I just need it to be just part of my sunglasses. I'd, I'm gonna just scale this down a little bit as well, kind of choosing what I want to be visible inside the sunglasses. So we're gonna hit Control or Command T, which is gonna bring up our transform dialog, and then I'm gonna hold down Shift and Option and scale this down just a bit. There we go. And that looks pretty good. I like that, uh, I think that's Notre Dame. Notre Dame uh, back there having that visible in the sunglasses and we do want a little bit of sky visible as well you know what let's scale this down just a little bit more there we go that looks pretty good okay now the trick here is you really want pretty much the same reflection in both of the sunglasses so I don't actually want these trees here on this uh, on this lens I want the same thing that's going on over here so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna hit M for my marquee tool and we're going to just make a selection right around this area. So this is like our, our good area, okay? Now I'm gonna inverse this selection. So we're gonna go to select and then down here to inverse. So I've, now it's selecting everything except what's inside of there on this layer. So if I just hit the delete key, it's gonna delete everything else away because I don't need it, everything else. There we go. So I'm left with just that, which is perfect for me. All right. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just duplicate this layer. So we're gonna hit Control or Command J. That's gonna duplicate it. And then I can use my Move tool to get it right back there. And we wanna you know, put it in like a slightly different place, something like that. All right, cool. That looks pretty good. Let's just go ahead and select and delete any of the excess, but we're looking pretty good. So now we have basically two of the same image here um, for each of the sunglasses. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring the opacity back up to 100% visibility on both of these layers, okay? And now we're gonna merge them back together again because we only really wanna deal with one layer. It's gonna make working with this image a lot easier. So to merge layers back together, we're gonna hold down Shift, we're gonna click on those two layers and we're gonna hit Control or Command E and that's gonna merge those layers together. So now that we have our images in place, we wanna make some selections to make them only visible inside of the sunglasses. And we're gonna do that with the magic wand tool. So we're gonna go ahead and make this invisible for now. Let's zoom in and we're gonna grab our magic wand tool and just select areas inside of the sunglasses. You know what, be sure you're clicked on sample all layers here or else it's gonna just try to select the layer you're currently on. Okay, there we go. This looks pretty good and we're selected in our first sunglass, and then we're gonna just go ahead and hold down the shift key and click a few times, and this is going to make a selection inside of our second glass. There we go, that looks good. It's a little bit further out there, but we can, we can change that, because all this is gonna be is a layer mask in just a little bit. Now, this is almost good. I just wanna bring the selection in just a little bit, and that's gonna give a little bit of lip to the sunglass. It's gonna make the effect look a little bit more real. So we're gonna go up here to Refine Edge. 
Okay, now here in our Refine Edge dialog, I can bring smoothing up just a little bit. It's going to smooth out my selection, and we can shift this edge in or out. You can see bringing it out and bringing it in. All right, there we go. You know what? Let's just change on black so we can actually see what that looks like. All right, so that's shifting it in and shifting it out. So we're just going to shift it in just a little bit. Let's hit OK, and we're good to go there. So now we have this selection. What we're going to do is load this layer into a group and load the selection as a layer mask. OK, let's do that. Let's go ahead and turn this back on. We're going to hit Control or Command G to group this image with itself. And then I'm going to click on my layer mask button. There we go. And we're good to go. So we have our, we have our layer right here in a group, and we have a layer mask on the group. The reason why we created a group and put the layer mask on the group is because we're going to actually wind up having to put another layer mask on the layer. So this is a really cool trick if you need to put two separate layer masks on a layer. Put one on the group and then one on the layer itself. Now we want to go ahead and darken the lenses down a little bit. That's going to help it actually look like a reflection. So we're going to grab an adjustment layer. I'm going to go down here to levels. There we go. And I'm going to go ahead and clip this levels adjustment layer to our layer one copy. Option command G is going to clip it, making sure it only affects the image of Paris. There we go. Now we're going to bring our darks a little bit darker. All right, looking good here. And we'll bring our output levels in as well, because really we're going to focus on the sky here. All right, that looks pretty good so far, but we also need to change the color. You can see the colors here are, they're just, usually you're going to get a lot of the color from the actual sunglasses in the reflection itself. And right now, we, we don't have that. So what we're going to do is grab another adjustment layer. I'm going to go to Hue, Saturation. We're going to clip this as well. And then I'm going to click this Colorize button. There we go. And now what I want to do is pretty much match the color from the original lens. So I can make this invisible and kind of see what we actually need. It's a little bit towards the, uh, there we go, towards the purplish side. All right. There we go. Let's bring our saturation down just a little bit more. And then we can bring the opacity of our hue saturation down just a little bit. So you can see it's starting to look a lot more like a reflection and a lot less just like a picture that's over top of the image. Now we're going to create a layer mask on the image of Paris and then add a gradient to make it look like it's kind of fading away. So we're going to click right here on our Paris image. There we go. Let's click a layer mask. So we're going to add that to the layer mask there. And you know what? We're going to zoom out just a little bit. We're going to grab our gradient tool. We're going to use the right here. We're going to click on our linear gradient. And then I want to choose our foreground to transparent. OK, so we've got a black foreground color, which is right over here. And it's going to go to transparent. All right, now all we have to do is make a selection. There we go. That looks pretty good. Hit our gradient tool and then fade from one area to another one. And that's basically just going to give us that really nice reflection that it's going to allow us to see through the sunglasses a little bit, which makes it look a lot more real. There we go. Let's add some from the bottom as well. All right. There we go. That looks pretty good. Let's go a little bit more. OK, cool. Now let's go ahead and select the other sunglass. There we go. And we're going to do the same thing. So with our gradient tool, we're just going to come from one side to the other. And you know what? This area, we actually want to be able to see through the majority of the lens, because we, could, we actually want to see what's going on behind our subject. So as long as that's good, you're good to go. All right, let's come here from the bottom just a little bit. You know what? And we're going to do the same thing from here as well. All right, so you can see, let's just zoom out a little bit, holding the shift key there to see the before and the after. Being able to see through the lens a little bit really makes a big difference on whether this effect looks like just something that's pasted over top or it actually looks like a reflection. And the last thing we're going to do is add some curvature to the image of Paris, making it really look like it's a part of the lens. So to do this, what we're going to do, let's go ahead and select our lens here. We're going to use our marquee tool. Make sure you're on your lens. And we're going to make this into a selection. There we go. Looking pretty good. We're going to go to Filter. We're going to go down here to Distort. And I'm going to go to Spherize. All right, now I don't get to use this very often, so I'm really excited about this. But you can see a little preview of what's going on here. You can bring it in or out, and it's going to actually make it look like it's a part of the lens. So we're going to choose right about there and hit OK, and it's going to kind of pump it out 
just a little bit, giving that really nice sphere effect. And if you had this on like a landscape with a straight horizon, you'd actually see it start to bow. All right, let's do the same thing with the other lens here. So we're going to select that. We're going to go to Filter, Distort, and down to Spherize. There we go. We'll choose all the same settings. Bring that over here so you can see the transformation. All right, that's really cool. You know what? I want this a little bit less. So let's just do this again really quick. Filter, Distort, Spherize. I think it punched that out a little bit too much. There we go. OK, I like that a lot better. Cool. So you can see it's not a big deal to undo something. Just hit Option, Command, Z, and that's going to allow you to go a couple steps back, and then you can just go at it again. All right, let's hit OK. Cool. I do like that a lot better. There we go. So here we can see we've got our layer mask here. Let's just disable this layer mask. You can see what a big difference that makes. OK? And then the layer mask we created on the group to begin with, we can see what a difference that makes. Because without it, our image <laughs> would be visible everywhere and not just on the sunglasses. And that's it for today's image. It's a lot of little steps, but we definitely got the image to look like it's a reflection in the sunglasses. We started off by taking an image of Paris and then duplicating it for each of the sunglasses. Then we created a selection inside of the sunglasses and used that as a layer mask to define where the reflection was actually going to be visible. After that, we added a levels adjustment layer and a hue saturation layer, changing the exposure and the color to make it look a little bit more natural. Then we used our gradient tool to add a layer mask on the image's Paris. That gave it that fade effect. Then to finish it off, we used the spherize filter, which gave it a rounded look instead of a flat look. And you guys can use this technique on anything you want to add a reflection to. It doesn't have to be sunglasses. It can be any type of glass or any surface, like a, a shiny table or something like that, where you want to make it look like it's reflecting something else. So for your composite images or to make your images that are photographed in the studio more interesting, is a perfect technique. If you love Photoshop and photography just like I do, and you want to learn more from flurn.com, just hit that subscribe button on your screen. It's super simple. It just move your hand, and then your mouse will just go there, and then you can just click. That's all you have to do. And we'll send you free Photoshop and photography episodes every single week. And if you have an idea for a new episode or a question or comment about today's episode, just leave it right down below in a comment. We'd love to hear from you. And if you got a question, we'll do our very best to answer that question. Thanks so much for watching Flurn, guys. Super cool you can hang out with me here. I'll Flurn you later. Bye, everyone. All right, let's do this. It's gonna be amazing. And the last thing we're gonna do is gonna blow your mind. Boom! <laughs> that was a little over dramatic. It's a lot of little steps, but we really got the image to look like it's a reflection in... Excuse me. Whew! Champion. Where are my sunglasses at? I only wear them at night.